us today what exactly is our inner child sure in fact uh, just a small uh, indication i just got uh, when you just the word inner child you said there were 111 participants on the show so it's a clear indication that the masters are with us today so a, a big uh, standing Thank ovation you. to them maybe uh, a big round of applause to them for uh, supporting us absolutely yes always <laughs> yes so yes inner child is something like you know what uh, so i'll give you a very small example now you are in a home so the home the home will become your memory or a, rather the mind memory right so if you look at inner child inner child comes up as the stored memory so it is like the sub, up, subconscious or unconscious uh, mind so if if my mind is the hall my home my home my drawing room my where i stay you know my space and suddenly you will feel something coming up for for example my my home is my plant right so my plant is doing very well it's thriving doing well something triggers and there is a weed which comes up from my in a child from the stored memory or from the basement some some weed will come up and will damage that plant so that damage may happen completely partly depending on again how we are able to handle that particular situation so we may go into darkness we may uh, do well we may get over that uh, and whatever happens you know it's something like okay we take some treatment for that weed and there there it goes so that is very clearly how i i will talk about an inner child why it creates disturbances because the triggers are like weeds which can uh, infect your plant and even make them die the second very uh, beautiful example which i uh, uh, basically would talk about is something like if you go for learning anything maybe a driving maybe language or whatever so it will be you who who are doing driving right so if you yeah. if if you are an experienced driver you don't need to check whether i am changing the gear properly whether i am you know driving uh, clutch is being pressed on time when the gear is uh, being changed but when you are learning you need to be aware because that's part of your mind memory once it becomes your unconscious memory which means automatically you will change the gear and you know you will brake automatically when someone comes you don't need to really think too much in in i like in so here uh, when i learn start learning one is my mind memory which gives me something my stored memory will give me some fear of an accident maybe somewhere yeah. that i've seen and then you have the instructor who will tell you something else so then your spouse will tell you something or maybe you know someone else in yeah. your car learning with you will give you some other fear so it becomes a complete hodgepodge <laughs> there are people who have given up driving altogether given up education because of these experiences uh, which they find so these are nothing but your inner child uh, uh, issues which i have talked about so if you look at inner child then uh, inner child general belief belief is that between 5 to 7 and 7 to 14 is the years when inner child can develop mm mm-hmm. but i have a slightly different understanding or a slightly different logic to this if we, if you may look at it is that yes that is where your stored memory comes no doubt but you have things like a uh, maybe a, a a shocking incident which you have seen maybe even yesterday day before yesterday 3 days back 10 days back we can also lead you maybe that is the trigger no doubt about that but those experiences also remain with you in that moment and that kind of further solidifies for example if you look at at a, at a if i may speak about uh, the seven kind of uh, not giving too much details now because i need to give you some more information but if you look at the ptsd part of it the ptsd is the uh, post stress post traumatic stress disorder ptsd now ptsd doesn't come up in a minute it doesn't come up uh, just like that it will happen over a period of maybe some months maybe some certain time years you will go through certain trauma it will go on and on and on and on and on suddenly you will come across one thing 
I'll give you a classic example here. I met a uh, lady who was a major schizophrenia patient, and uh, she would be very nice with you, very beautiful lady, very nice energies. But suddenly, the moment she will get some, uh, you know, some suspicion about you or something, then you're gone. My that friend, that husband of hers had lost something like eight to ten mobiles. She had thro thrown it on the fifth floor. Just on the basis of uh, simple heat, mm. heated arguments or something like that. Now, when I did her clearing, she was 38, two years back. When I did her clearing, 38, I went down each year. So, somewhere around the 24th year, or rather the 20, yeah, 22nd year she got married, so 24th or 25th year, I got some major thing uh, which came up. And this guy was very sheepish uh, when, when, you know, when he was uh, saying this. I said, something happened here, which is actually what triggered the whole thing. And she's gone into schizophrenia because of this incident. He said, yes, uh, I had uh, cheated on her. And because of that, she kind of got into this. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't expecting the answer from him. But he was, at least I said, you're brave enough to at least tell me, which is good. And when I went down further, when she was in her teens, I'm sorry, maybe I say, I, I try to uh, keep it as uh, soft the words as possible, but these are harsh realities. You cannot run away from them. So she had been molested in at least three to four times in her teenage and even the growing up years. So that trauma remained inside her. The last one was in around 16th or 17th year, so which is what I saw. So this 24th, 25th year, this trauma which suddenly came from the husband cheating on her was something which just, you know, broke her completely. Her trust got broken. And that is where she contracted this. So when I healed each year, that is how it cleared the store memory. The first healing, she did not do it in person because she was too violent. So the first healing, we cleared about 40 to 50 percent. Second healing, she came on call. So second healing, she was 70 to 80 percent fine, better. So she is now living a better life. She, and they, maybe they said that we will come back to you for a third reading. But I said, if you require only then, don't just uh, want to come for it. So idea is that this is the stored memory is coming from there. Whereas yeah. they are not aware exactly where it came from. So idea is that even if you are aware, you are not aware, we will be able to resolve those things. Like a lady, uh, one more uh, case is just immediately like coming up in my awareness. Mm -hmm. There was a lady who was 52 years of age, two years back again, two, two and a half years back. So she, she somehow had some, you know, trouble focusing, concentrating and things like that. So when I started healing uh, this uh, her, I could somehow feel dual energies. And for me also, with all that kind of intuition, I was also a bit puzzled. I said, there are definitely two energies which I'm feeling from you. I'm not able to pinpoint as of now. I'm being told when I go further, you will come to know. So 52 onwards, we went to 51, 50, uh, sorry, 52, 51, 50, blah, blah, blah. We came down to somewhere around 31, 32. And as we approached 32, 31, 30, I got, I saw what was the second energy. She had a miscarriage or rather an abortion in the 30th, 30th year. And this child energy got stuck with her. Mm. She could not forget the trauma with, of this child and this child energy also remained with her. That was something which just blew me away. And while doing the clearing of hers, I released the child's energy also and uh, sent it to the light. Such kind of amazing things happened that I was like also shocked. Shocked in the sense, of course, I don't uh, prepare my mind and go into yeah. reading. Intuitive. Anything which comes on intuition, I just take it in uh, face value and take it forward. So that helped me and uh, this lady was cleared of a major trauma. And now, last two years, she's, her focus is fine. Everything is good. This is how, you know, you, she was not even aware that uh, anything of this sort yeah. of happened. So, and she didn't come 
with to me with that expectation that something like this would be there but as i said you know the masters are there to tell us so all the healings are for your highest good so anything which is karmically not to be done maybe it is keeping you stuck you need to clear you need to clear so it's upon you to take the step forward and take these readings as they are definitely for your highest good and uh, people's lives have changed particularly so i have uh, maybe if i can i can go on for cases but absolutely deepak and i'm sure many more are going to come in the middle <laughs> of this call yeah. in fact so, deepak you have answered even without my asking you something which would have been at the back of people's mind that you mentioned some really serious problems which happened in people's childhood you know so there are these really unspeakable incidents yeah. which you know we cannot share with anybody or which we cannot even accept ourselves yes. those kind of issues which have happened in the childhood and even sometimes like the lady you described she couldn't even have guessed that what happened yes. when she was 30 is carrying yes. on forward so whatever happened to us in our childhood and whatever happened later even if we don't know even if we don't remember everyone it can be healed deepak is here to help us with it and by now listening to him you must have realized that it is possible to heal each and every year of our life right till our mother's womb it is a very beautiful process deepak is actually going to explain us and we are going to experience some of this and whoever is on today's call deepak's call for the first time let me tell you his healing you must not miss so stay tuned it is coming up and deepak why how does our inner child get so affected and why does it become so important for us to go so back and then you know heal with it yeah yeah so something like if i i'll use a maybe a physical term here mm-hmm. if you are god forbid i'm sorry you know i'm just saying something which please don't attach to this god forbid you have been injured in your leg so you will experience limping you will experience dragging mm. of the foot mm. all that will happen so inner child is nothing but a part of you so if it is not happy or i would not use the word happy also i'll tell you the reason why maybe later if it is not joyful if it is not connected to you and it's something like it has to be unconditionally loved by you and back to you so these it's something like a vehicle going on four wheels mm-hmm. if one wheel is uh, punctured you need to change uh, take care of the puncture as simple as that that is what inner child is all about otherwise that uh, tire will keep giving you trouble and you will not know what why the trouble is every time that same tire is mm. taking getting punctured why is that same tire every time getting punctured so then you will realize oh there is something which is uh, from the body which is affecting the tire something like that so, so uh, you don't even know where it will come from i'll i'll share a classic example here uh, about a one about one lady she was 53 and such a lot of such a lot of energy imbalance that lady had it was i i it's something like i if i share with you you will understand every week she would have a trauma attack Mm-hmm. every and every month for the last 20 years this is about april 2020 when i did a reading or uh, may 2020 so till sorry june june 2020 yes correct so every month she would end up in hospital and this was happening for the last 20 years completely dominated by everybody in her life luckily she had beautiful sons who were taking care of her luckily otherwise i don't know where she would have been she herself used to say that i may have ended up in a mental asylum as simple as that only because of those two two gems of boys which she had she was able to somehow manage 
So 20 years she went through this trauma after marriage particularly. And the moment someone says anything, hey, I will not use her name of course, hey Suman, uh, because of you I faced this problem. Mm -hmm. Just go into hyper and just get into a trauma. And that's it. That was a traumatic attack. So she would get fits also very regularly. I, when I did her clearing from the 53rd year, going back, I saw a lot of trauma getting released nearly every year from the 52nd onwards. So when I reached the first year, I still cleared it. I was seeing trauma and only trauma, right? Every year, which was evident uh, with what she said. The moment I reached the womb, when I cleared the mother's womb, that is where the root cause came to my awareness. Her mother tried to abort her three times. Oh. This was a fact she was not aware. She was not aware of this fact and she kind of defended her mother saying that no, no. So she, uh, Yeah, she has, uh, we have differences, but uh, no, no, aisa nahi hai. nothing like that. So I said that uh, anyway, it's the reading. So I, I the reading can, I, I, anyway, I don't want to argue on that. But this is what I got. After three days, she called me and apologized to me. I didn't want her apologies. She said, that so, yes, mother told her that she had tried to abort her. But she was that style who was very stubborn and she came. And she was never loved by her mother. So that feeling of unworthiness, feeling helpless or feeling unwanted was there inside her. The moment we cleared her mother's womb, two and a half years after now, uh, the beautiful aspect is I would have liked her to come. She is now traveling to Australia to her son. She has taken up job as a counselor herself. Wow. <laughs> so that is the turnaround. And also she is a professor in a, a leading uh, engineering college because she had given up all job, everything. She didn't even have an account in her name. Her, like her husband used to take all mm -hmm. the money in her name. So she would not have anything. Even uh, so when she did the course with uh, clearing with me, she poor thing didn't even have the money to pay me. I said, we'll take care of it or whatever it is that we saw later on. Because now two and a half years. Yeah, it's been two and a half years now. Living life peaceful. Super and uh, not a single time admitted to the hospital. That was wow. the Fantastic, Deepan. This is a really excellent example of how important it is to take care of us.